Hi everyone, it's Cassie, the Young Teen Librarian at East Hampton Library. Today, for our virtual make and take craft video, I'm going to show you how to make hand and pen doodles. Uh, I did not originally come up with this idea. I, it was, I saw it through a video on Facebook via the Facebook page for Blossom. They make a lot of DIY videos. And for this craft, you're going to just need paper, a pen or a marker and your hand. And I will put the I will put the original video that I got this idea from. I will put it in the description below. Okay. So in that in that video, they you used your hand different, you know, different you used your hand making it in different shapes, like like using something like a thumbs up, and you were able to use it to make a shape, and then you created you you took that shape and made it into something else. And throughout that video, all of the doodles that were made were all animals. So we're going to do our first one. Paper. Our first doodle is going to be a giraffe. So for a giraffe, what you're going to have to do is you kind of like have all your fingers straight up. You have your finger like this, your hand like this, but then you're going to fold your middle finger down and you're going to spread out your the other your pointer finger ring finger and pinky finger you know, place it on the on the page and let me take the, not the cap off first you're gonna go like this and then you're going to trace your arm because this is going to be the giraffe both the head and the neck you know that little bump where the one finger that is folded down and then you're just going to go around and, and there you go. Okay. Then what you are going to do, you're going to right where the the mid point the middle ring the middle finger was folded down. You're just going to come like that. That's going to be like the head. It's the head of the giraffe. And then these two, the pointer finger and the ring finger, are going to be the giraffe's horns. So for with the and then the other two fingers, the thumb and the point, uh, the, the pinky finger will be the ears. So you do this to get the ear and then you just kind of go like that. And then you're going to go like that. There you go. And then here where the wrist is, you are going to make a curved line and then another curved line. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make two little hump images, little humps, and then this, color this in black. That is the snout of the giraffe. And then we are going to take, and we're gonna, I'm gonna make this a girl giraffe. And then you're going to, you're gonna do that. You're gonna make a big circle within that section and then fill the rest in with black and look it's a it's a giraffe and then what you can do there you go there's your giraffe you have now made a giraffe using your, using your hand as the template and then just adding to it so that is our first one as a draft. And you could, um, if you feel so inclined, you could color it in. You could use you could use other fine point markers or ultra fine point markers, which are the, the tinier, very fine tip to make it. But to cover most of this surface area, you're gonna want a fine point marker. It would take forever with the other type. So just for sake of showing. Okay, so you can see I got marker on my hands. It'll wash off and it should wash off pretty easily. We're going to make two others. We're going to make a snake and we're going to make a snail. So for our snake, you're going to make a rock on symbol. So we know this is a rock on symbol. And this, the thumb is going to be the head of the snake and the pinky finger is going to be the tip of the snake. So we kind of have to come at it from a sideways Thing. So you're going to hump over each of the fingers. All right. So you end up with that. What you're then going to do 
you're going to make more humps because you want so with the humps of the things you're going to make humps on the other side so that you can then connect them and it will look like a snake that is coiled on itself so then you kind of just make some marks with the marker and also you want to connect here so that it looks like the then we can just make them a little goofy he's a little bit goofy and then we're just going to do this and then whoop, there's our little snake and then you can color him any which way you want i would say probably green and yellow are a good color combination for that then our last one we're going to do today is a snail now these are some of the ideas from that video but there were like 15 different ideas from that video and it was just it was cool to see how all the different ways in which you could just use your hand to make different shapes and then transform that shape into something else. So for this, you're going to do a thumbs up hand, but you're going to have it be sideways like this. Then we're going to go make a couple of humps. All right. Okay. So we have this. What we are then going to do from this side of the hand, so on this side, we are then going to, we're going to mark here, first off. That is going to be the shell of the snail. So we would take, we would make lines from each of the humps of the fingers in this symbol, in this symbol. And then we're just gonna go like this, make a little pointed thing and connect it. And look, that is the snail's body. And then, as we know, like snails, they're always depicted with those like, with the eyes that stick up. We're gonna make a little smile for this snail. And look, there's our snail, isn't it cute? And you could also do patterns on the shell if you wanted to, but that's like a pretty simple way now, granted, they're not the best looking drawings, but it is a cute and interesting way to come up with newer drawings. And also it keeps you, it keeps you occupied, makes you, you know, you're, it's something mindless, something that's not too complicated. It's not too complicated. It's just something to take your mind off. You know, if you're having something that you're stressed about, like we all are at this point in time, but kind of a cool and interesting craft idea. And so that is that and looks pretty cute. And I hope you really enjoyed that. And I hope that you all have a good rest of your day. Bye.